Okay, today I'm going to explain the one of the modern math chapter. Okay, this one, this chapter is, is related to the split time graph. So, from the diagram here, actually you can see the split time. Actually, this is the chapter gradient and area under a graph. Okay, so in this chapter, actually you only will see two type of graph. One is speed time graph, another one is distance time graph. Okay, for the speed time graph, few things you have to know is that okay, first, it, the gradient of the speed time graph is called is called uh, rate of speed of change. So when you see the word like he asks you the rate of change of speed, rate of change of speed will mean the gradients of the of the speed time graph. Actually it's acceleration also. Okay. Means when you see the gradient, this one will in the this in the speed time graph they will call it rate of change of speed is for the gradient. Okay. And then you see the constant here. Okay. Mean actually the speed itself it will keep at six it uh, means the graph will keep the speed at 16 here so mean this one it doesn't change anything this one in this graph we call it uniform speed uniform speed means the speed is is the same means he didn't increase the speed or didn't decrease the speed the constant speed we call it uniform speed okay and then yeah the speed time graph got one very important very important keyword, uh, very important key point is that the area of the speed time graph will equal to distance. The area of the speed time graph will equal to distance. For example, here he said the total distance traveled by the particle is 361 meter. Therefore, we know that actually this trabezium plus this rectangle plus this triangle all the area plus together we will get 361 okay this one only for speed time graph so you see this is speed this is time means the area of the graph is equal to distance okay i'll repeat one more time area of the graph will equal to distance okay so let's start and have a look on this question okay first the question say that the total the total distance traveled by the particle is 361 meter in total of 27 seconds okay because here is s okay a he asks you find the average speed of the particle for the period of 27 seconds so a is you want to find average speed Average speed is very easy. You just use total distance divided by total time. So we got the total distance here will be 361 meter divided by 20 seconds. Therefore, when you press calculator, you can get the Answer. Okay, wait a while. I go and take the calculator. Okay, so when when you press calculator, you can get seven. You get uh one three point three seven ms minus one. See, he said write the unit in ms minus 1 means this is the unit for speed so average speed will equal to total the distance traveled by the total time okay this is for part a and then part b he asks us to calculate the rate of change of uh, of the particle in the last 12 seconds okay he want to calculate the rate of change means the gradient of the last 12 seconds 27 minus 15 we got 12 seconds here this is meaning by last 12 seconds not the first 12 is the last 12 so in order to get the gradient we better to have the coordinate first do you remember the gradient formula will equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so in order to find the grade in order to find a gradient okay we have to find this coordinate equal to okay 15 
16 and this coordinate will equal to 27 0 okay this coordinate and this coordinate because he want to find the gradient of this straight line okay therefore we write rate of change of speed will equal to okay we use y minus y first it will be 16 minus 0 and then 15 minus 27 therefore we will got 16 divided by negative 12 okay 16 divided by negative 12 we will got okay ne negative 1.33 or you can leave it in the fraction form will be negative uh, 4 over 3 and remember to write the unit ms negative 2 okay this is the unit remember to write okay so rate of change of speed remember rate of change of speed will equal to gradient of the speed time graph gradient so you just find the gradient okay or actually you can use the y change change of y divided by change of x but then because this one actually the rate of change of speed is decreasing so must have negative when you see the speed is decreasing you will have a negative okay so last part he asked you calculate the values of v calculate the values of v so in order to calculate the values of v v will be the, the speed here so we have to use the distance uh, distance methods to calculate so means the whole area we could now we got area a area b and area c a is a trabezium b is a rectangle and c is a triangle all plus together we will get 361 therefore we can get v okay so first okay we have a look on the area of trabezium trabezium formula will be two parallel line a plus b multiple h the height height of the 90 degree and then we got half half multiple a plus b multiple h this is the formula for the area of trabezium so therefore for area a okay we will got half multiple a will be 16 okay 16 plus b b will be v plus v multiple h will be 10 minus 0 will be 10 so therefore we will just simplify we will got 5 5 multiple 60 will be 8 uh, 80 plus 5 v okay this one is the first one and the second one the rectangle b is very easy 5 multiple 16 v5 multiple 16 same thing we will get 80 okay or in meter is it yeah or in meter so for the last triangle c will be half height multiple base so will be half height will be 16 multiple 16 multiple base will be 12 so we have got 72 uh, no, 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 this is 96 meter so all this plus together we will get 361 because he said total distance travel i say the area of the speed time graph is the distance therefore we got 80 plus 5v plus 80 plus 96 we will get 361 mean all the area plus together we will get 361 you solve this equation you can get v so 80 plus 80 plus 96 okay so we have got 256 so 5v will equal to 361 minus 256 so 5v will equal to 105 so v will equal to 21 
Okay, so 21, this is speed. So we write ms minus 1. Okay, and then let me explain one more question about speed time graph. Okay, this is another question. Okay, in this question, same thing in the speed time graph. I say the speed time graph, the gradient will equal to rate of change of speed. This is called uniform speed. And then the area will equal to distance. Okay, first A is very easy. He asks you state the uniform speed in ms minus 1. So the uniform speed is here, obviously. So it will be 20 ms negative 1. Because here is the uniform speed. Unless he asks you state the time of the uniform speed, then you have to look for the time. But then he just asks you state the uniform speed, so you just write 20 ms minus 1. Okay, for part B, calculate the rate of change of speed the particle in the first 4 seconds. First 4 seconds means from 0 to 4. This one we call first 4 seconds. So first 4 seconds means he wants to find the gradient of this one. So if you, okay, you just write the coordinate for this one. This one we call it 420. For this coordinate, obviously, is uh, this one is 0, 12. So, rate of change of speed, we just write rate of change of speed will equal to, okay, we, since we got the coordinate, 20 minus 12 divided by 4 minus 0. So, we will got 8 minus 4, then we will got 2 ms negative 2. This is for rate of change of speed. Okay, simple. Okay, last part. Part C. Okay, he want calculate the total distance travel in t second in is one eight four meter. Means total area will be one eight four. So this one simple trabezium plus a rectangle. So same thing. We come to trabezium first. Trabezium formula is equal to half a plus b. A here is twenty. Plus B, B here is 12. Multiple height. Height will be 4. Okay. This is for trapezium. And then we plus the rectangle. Rectangle, this height, height will be 20. And then multiple the length here. This one we call it T minus 4. Because T minus 4, we will got this area. So 20 multiple T minus 4. Then this is for rectangle will equal to 184 is given here. So we just solve this one. We can get the values of T. So I just solve it quickly. This one is simplified with 4. We got 2. And then this one actually we got 32. 32, 32 multiple 2. We got 64. Okay. Plus this one will be 20 T minus 80. We will got 184. So 64 minus 80. We got negative 16. 20 t will get 184. Therefore, 20 t negative 16 move to air side. We got plus 16, so we got 200. Okay, t equal to 200 divided by 20. We got 10 second s. Okay, so t you got 10 by using the area formula. Okay, so I think these two question can help you understand better about the speed time graph okay thanks for watching the video